maths teachers does it take to fill a cubic metre to if they're as big and bright and good looking as us. Today, in case you haven't worked it out, ladies and gents, we're doing a section on conversion of measurements from length to area to, of course, volume. I can get a couple more teachers in here with us. Oh, so we probably could. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, we might start talking about some length conversions. Mr. Savage, have you got anything that's about maybe a metre long? Uh, I do. Oh, is that right? Hey, so look at here. that, the metre yeah. long ruler, fantastic. And if you look closely enough at those metre long rulers, they actually tell you most of these conversions. If you find the one centimetre, you'll find ten of these tiny little grids inside it, which is millimetres, and that actually shows us that there is ten millimetres for every one centimetre. If you look a little bit further, you'll find out that there is one hundred centimetres in that entire one metre length. That's, that's why we know there is one hundred centimetres in one metre. And you look a little bit further down, you notice they're going up by a factor of 10 every single time, and that just simply tells us that there is 1,000 metres in one kilometre. But you guys already knew all of that. None of that's grade 8. That's a little bit more grade... not grade 8. So let's move on to the stuff that is, in fact, grade 8. Okay, so Mr Wilkie, explain the conversions to me for the area. The length made a lot of sense, but what about when we start dealing with area? Most of the kids are pretty good at length conversions, but they do start getting a bit confused once they get to area. So hopefully this will help. If we've got a one metre by one metre square, and I've got one metre and one metre there, you could also draw that up as 100 centimetres times 100 centimetres because the length and the width would both be 100 centimetres, which equals one metre. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work out the area of each of those shapes. Now, length times width, or side times side for a square, and if we look at one metre times one metre, one times one is actually one, and if we've got metres times metres, the answer is actually metres squared. So I know that if I've got a one metre by one metre square, the area of that is one metre squared. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, straight as. But, let's have a look at what happens in centimetres. If we didn't put that as 1 metre, we put that as 100 centimetres, and similar down here, we didn't put that as 1 metre, we put that as 100 centimetres. Here's what the same equation looks like when we multiply. And you'll notice, we have to multiply 100 times 100 to get the same area. Now 100 times 100 happens to be 10,000. Now we're talking centimetres. Because of times centimetres by centimetres, there's a little squared up the top. Conversion-wise, that means in 1 metre squared, there is actually... 10,000 centimetres squared. Now some of you might look at that and think, how am I going to remember that? It's as simple as this. If we convert from metres to centimetres, we know we need to times by 100. If we're talking area and there are in fact two dimensions, we know we've got to do it twice. And that little two up the top of the metre squared and that centimetre squared is another reminder, we simply need to do that conversion twice. So if I take that one metre squared, I multiply it by 100, and then I multiply it by 100 again, I get 10,000, and I'm now dealing with centimetre squared. All over it, Mr. Savage. Wow, easy stuff. Okay, so Mr. Wilkie, what if we're dealing with numbers that aren't just one? I'm glad you asked. I'm really glad you asked, because rarely we're actually dealing with numbers at one. So one of the types of conversions that we could do, we could have six metres squared, and we're asked to convert that to centimetre squared. Can you remember how we were talking about doing that, Mr. Savage? Yep, uh, metres to centimetres squared, we had to multiply by 100 and then multiply by 100 again. Absolutely, we remembered we had to multiply by 100 two times because there's a little two up there. So I simply take the number out the front, 6, and I multiply that by 100 one times to get it into the centimetres, multiply by 100 again to get it into centimetres squared, multiply all that out and we have 60,000 centimetres squared. So it means... 6 metres squared actually equals 60,000 centimetres squared. Wow. That's it. What about this one, sir? Starting to go okay. backwards. So in this case here, you're looking at 800,000 centimetres squared, and you want to go back to metres squared. Does that mean you would have to do the opposite of what you've just done up here in example one? This guy is good. He's so good. Yeah, That's right. exactly right, sir. So over here, we start with our 800,000. Okay. Now, how many, cent how many centimetres in one metre? 
100? Absolutely. So we know that if we just had centimetres and metres, we would need to divide that by 100. Okay. But we don't. We've got centimetres squared and metres squared. So what else do I need to add to here? Divide it again. Oh, he's 100. Good. He's so good, this guy. Divide by 100 again, so divide by 100, divide by 100, and we get a final answer of 80 metres squared. So if we've got this gigantic 800,000 centimetres squared, we're actually only talking about 80 metres squared. That's area. Holy moly, sir. Yeah. We are talking volume, obviously. Yep. One metre cubed, so one metre times one metre times one metre, it's huge. It's quite heavy too. Like you're as strong as you are. Now when we're converting to volume, we saw from Mr. Savage's strength as the beast was holding up that one meter cube that it is in fact three dimensions. And that's why we've got that little three up there. Now the exciting part is, when we're doing length we knew we were working one dimension. When we're doing area we knew we were doing two dimensions. Now we're doing volume, we must be talking three dimensions. Now so what do you think that means if we're trying to convert two meters cubed? to centimetres cubed. Okay, so I recall that metres to centimetres is multiplied by 100. Perfect. When we were dealing with area, it was to the power of 2, so we multiplied by 100 twice. So I imagine we would now be multiplying that number 2 by 100 three times. He is quite imaginative. So we're going to do that too, multiply by 100, because as Sir said, that's how many cent centimetres are in one metre. But because we've got a cubed up there, we don't do it once. We don't do it twice. We, in fact, do that three times, giving us a final answer down here of two million cubic centimetres are in two cubic metres. Wow. Quite a bit. Not really a hard conversion, though, sir, if you can remember that cubic, three dimensions, just means we do it three times. Okay, I think I can do that. All right, let's test your understanding. Let's see how you go with this lucky last one. Okay. So we've got 500,000 there, okay, and it's in centimetres cubed and we need to get it to metres cubed. So once again, we're going centimetres cubed to metres cubed, which means we're doing the opposite to what we did in this example up here. Sure are. So you're going to be dividing by 100 three times. This guy is good. So all right now, 500,000 divided by 100, because that's how many centimetres are in a metre. Divide by 100 again, because we're not talking about just one centimetre in one dimension. We can't just talk about two dimensions. We need to divide by 100 again, because we are in fact talking about three dimensions. And I'm going to put it over there, just so that looks a little bit better. Now, so if you're going to divide 500,000 by 100, divide by 100 and divide by 100 again, how does that come out? Well, I always look at it this way. The number of zeros that you're dividing by, they're the number of places you can kind of jump. So two zeros there, two zeros there, and two zeros there. Imagining a little decimal place there, that means I'm doing six jumps for the six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. So if we had a decimal just in front of that 5.5, sometimes we write, write that as 0 0.5, and that means that if we've got 500,000 cubic centimetres, that actually means 0.5 of a cubic metre. Incredible stuff. Wow. That is converting. I've learned volumes today. <laughs>